You don't have to be an artist to get the most out of Draw Plus. Using simple shapes, you can create characters like this cartoon cat in a few easy steps. We'll show you how. Open Draw Plus and start a new blank document. We'll begin by creating the head of our character. At the left of the workspace, on the Quick Shapes flyout, choose the Quick Ellipse and then click and drag on your page to create a large flattened ellipse. Repeat this click and drag process to create a smaller elongated shape for the ear. We'll now rotate this shape. In the lower right corner of the workspace, on the Arrange tab, click the arrow just to the right of the Rotate button to expand the drop-down menu. Click 45 degrees. Move the ear into position by dragging the Move button in the upper left corner. We can now create a copy of this shape to use for the right ear. Right-click the shape and click Copy. Right-click again and click Paste. You can also use the standard Ctrl-C, Ctrl-V keyboard shortcuts for this. With a new shape selected, go back to the Arrange tab and click the Flip Horizontal button. Drag this ear into position on the other side of the cat's head. We'll now combine our three ellipses into a single shape. On the Drawing Toolbar, click the Pointer tool. Then click and drag to draw a selection bounding box around all of the shapes. On the Arrange tab, click Add. Let's now move on to the body of our character. Over on the Quick Shapes flyout, choose the Quick Rectangle this time and then draw a rectangle on your page. With your new shape selected, go back to the Arrange tab and this time click Convert to Curves. Now click the Node tool on the Drawing Toolbar. This exposes the nodes around the border of the shape. We could click and drag on these nodes and on the lines connecting them to reshape the rectangle if we wished, but we don't need to do this. We simply want to round the corners of our shape by changing the node type. Click and drag with the Node tool to select all four corners of the shape. Then on the Context Toolbar, click Smart Corner. We can use smaller versions of this for the front legs of our character. Right-click the body shape and click Copy. Right-click again and click Paste. Click and drag a corner resize handle to make this new shape slightly smaller. Then move it into position. Copy the smaller shape and drag it over to the other side of the body. Great! Our cat now has two front legs. Let's add back legs. Create another copy of the small shape. You can move it roughly into position at this point if you like. Now, on the Arrange tab, choose 90 degrees from the drop-down list. This shape could maybe be a little bit wider, so let's resize it slightly by dragging a side handle. When you've got the shape and size you want, copy it and then move the two back legs into place. Using the Pointer tool, click and drag around all of the body and leg shapes. Then on the Arrange tab, click Add to combine them into a single shape. Let's now add some colour to our drawing. With the body shape selected, go over to the Colour tab and then click a colour swatch to apply it. Our cat needs some paws. We'll use a quick ellipse again to create these. Fill the paw with white from the Colour tab and then on the Arrange tab, click the Send to Back button to place the shape behind the suit. Copy and paste. Another elongated ellipse for the back paws. Copy and paste. Now we'll add a hood to the cat's suit using a quick ellipse. Fill it with blue, the same blue from the colour tab. Convert the shape to curves and reshape it slightly, just flattening the top. Now move it into position. Now for the finishing touches. A tail and whiskers. For the tail, click the Freeform Paint tool. On the Context Toolbar, set the width to about 20, 25. This will all depend on the size of character you've drawn. Click and drag to draw the tail. Now click the Pencil tool and draw your whiskers.
And that's all there is to it. At this point, it's a good idea to group all of the objects that make up your character. To do this, use the pointer tool to drag a selection bounding box around everything. Then click the Group button. Now that your objects are grouped, you can perform operations such as moving, resizing, etc. all at the same time. To complete our drawing, we'll add a drop shadow. With the character selected, click the Shadow tool. You'll see control nodes display on the page. Each of these nodes allow you to adjust the various properties of the shadow. Shear, blur, opacity, etc. And that's all there is to it. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.